Let's load in a video and look at how we can control the effects with sound. See this hue effect, it looks nice with the black background, so let's automate that by clicking on audio controls. And I want the amplitude of this track to control the color hue effect, so I'll click and drag to make a connection. And you can see it's moving, the slider. Now I can click and drag on the little pie wheel, it lets me amplify or decrease the effect by dragging up and down, and I can limit the range of the effect with these min and max sliders over here. I can even flip the mapping by making the min bigger than the max, so now the louder it is, the less the effect is applied. So now let's just do another one. Let's do that again with the feedback stage for this new section of the song, and I'm gonna connect it to this one right here, and look at this, something totally new is happening. Now we've got other fun things we can use besides amplitude, like timbre, which is basically measuring how smooth or crunchy your sound is. Um, I'm going to plug that into, say, the hue again. And now let's take advantage of our transients, which is looking for little sharp peaks in our track, and I'll plug that into my 3D mesh to make it kind of pulse towards us. Now, let me show you a fun secret. The wet-dry slider can actually go further to something I like to call extra, which changes how all the effects look and preserves more of the original image. So I'll just slide it back now all the way to wet. And to disconnect, we just click on one of these cables and press the delete key. And one by one, we can remove these mappings. Now, because the song is ending, seems like a good time to fade it to black. And we say goodbye. Oh, yeah.